Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example on Bayes' rule is an interesting one. Let's play a game. Let's say that we have four boxes. We can't see what's inside of them, but there's some cash money in there. In the first box, we have $100 bill and eight $1 bills. On the second box, we have $200 bills, five $1 bill. The third one, we have $300 bills, seven $1 bill. And on the fourth box, we have five $100 bills and five $1 bills. And of course, the contestant does not know how many of each type of bills is in each of the boxes. So the contestant will pick a box at random and then we'll pick a bill at random without knowing what's in it and just kind of feeling around, picking out a bill. And let's assume that the bill that the contestant pulled out was a $100 bill. Now we're supposed to find the probability that it came from box four. So in other words, we can, cannot see which box the contestant picked. We just know that the contestant picked one at random, went in, picked a bill at random. We looked at it, it's a $100 bill. Now we're trying to find the probability that that bill came from box four. How do we do that? Well, the equation is that the probability that the bill came from box four, given that we picked a $100 bill, equals the probability that we'll pick a $100 bill if it came from box four, or given that it came from box four, times the probability that we picked box four divided by the probability of picking a $100 bill. And of course, that depends upon each box, the probability of picking each of the four boxes, plus the probability of having a $100 bill in each of the four boxes. So we start out with copying this, but then we also have to account for the probability of picking a $100 bill if it came from one of the other three boxes. So when we plug in the numbers, it will look as follows. This is equal to the probability that we picked a $100 bill given box four. Well, in box four, we have 10 bills, and five of them are $100 bills, so that would be five out of 10. And the probability that we'll pick box four, assuming that it's an equal probability for any of the four boxes, that means it's a one quarter probability for each of the boxes. So we divide that by the probability that a $100 bill was picked when it came from box four. So you can see that's exactly the same as before. Five over 10 times one over four. But now we have to do that for the other three boxes. The probability that we pick a $100 bill given it came from box one, that would be one out of nine. And of course, the probability that we pick that box is also one out of four. It's an equal probability of picking each of the boxes. So continuing, this is plus. The next one would be, uh, let's see here, we have uh, three out of 10, the one quarter probability, plus, and on the last box, oh, let's see here, let me, let me go back. Actually, I was supposed to have picked the second box. The second box is this one, so it's two out of seven. So two out of seven for the second box. Yeah, they're a little out of order here. So this is box four, that's box one. This is box two, and then for box three would be three out of 10 times one quarter. There we go. Okay, the reason why I I put box four first because we always repeat this quantity, always is repeated in the denominator, plus whatever other possibilities we have. And so it might not be a bad idea to just go one through four, realizing that that's the case, but I'd just like to show you that this is always exactly the same, plus all the other probabilities of getting a $100 bill from the other boxes. Now notice we have a one quarter everywhere, so that cancels out, like this. And now we have to add all that up. Okay, common denominator. Well, at this point, I think I'm just gonna grab a calculator because a common denominator would be quite complicated. So let's just grab a calculator and calculate the denominator. So we have five divided by 10 plus one divided by nine plus two divided by seven plus three divided by 10 oh, equals and that's the denominator, so we move that to the denominator by taking the inverse and then multiplying times 0.5. And we get 41.8%. So this is equal to 41.8%, which means that since we could have picked any of the four boxes at random, and we know that we picked a $100 bill, the probability that that bill came from box four is 41.8%. And that 
is how it's done.